for his mistakes. The former health minister had admitted breaching travel restrictions when New Zealanders were ordered to stay at home. There was another controversy over failures to ensure that returning travellers were properly tested. The Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern said it was essential those leading the response to the pandemic had the confidence of the New Zealand people. The governor of California has reintroduced large parts of a coronavirus lockdown after a spike in cases. Indoor dining at restaurants will be prohibited and cinemas, bars and museums closed for at least three weeks. Governor Newsom reimposed the restrictions ahead of the July the 4th holiday weekend. The head of Ukraine's central bank has handed in his resignation, saying systematic political pressure is making it impossible for him to carry out his duties. Yakiv Smolei said his decision should be a warning against attempts to undermine the bank's independence. The bank has previously complained of a campaign to press of pressure waged by a prominent backer of President Volodymyr Zelensky. And Finland's Air Force has quietly replaced its old symbol, which featured a swastika. The force had used the emblem since its foundation in 1918, long before the swastika was adopted by the Nazis in Germany. The new symbol features a golden eagle and a circle of wings. Welcome to the newsroom from the BBC World Service with me, Jeanette Jalil. Will President Putin still be in power when he's 83?